Over the last few years, I've acquired some of these really cool Champion spark plugs with priming cups. These four here are actually new old stock, never been used. I've even got the original boxes for them still. But I recently picked up these three others. This one's in pretty good shape. These two are in the lesser shape. Unfortunately, it looks like somebody media blasted these. Today, I'm gonna install this one into my little hit miss engine here. Let me show you how to take these apart and then we'll get it installed. So these are three piece spark plugs. They're meant to be able to uh, take them apart either for cleaning or to replace the uh, ceramic center. I'd already had this one a little bit loose. Unscrew this nut and it comes all the way off and then the center just pops right out. To adjust the gap on these, you just carefully bend this piece right here. Now let's take a look at one of these priming plugs. The housings are completely different. The center ceramic is also different, unfortunately. You can't interchange this with this. See how the ceramic pieces are different? It'd be nice if they were interchangeable, but they aren't. So the way these work is you fill up the priming cup with uh, fuel. When the valve is closed, like that, you open the valve and the fuel runs down through the spark plug into the combustion chamber and primes the cylinder. And I'll turn the valve and fuel should run out the bottom of the plug. I've never actually used one before, but first let's test this, make sure it's a good plug before I go through the trouble of putting it in. If you've never seen a contraption like this, this is what we call a hand cranked coil tester. So right here is a Model T ignition coil. On the back, this gear right here with the teeth is an actual flywheel from a Model T. And these right here are magnets all the way around. And then on this side, right here, right here, there are copper coils wound around an iron core. So, if you know your basic electricity, when you pass magnets close to copper wound iron cores, it creates electricity. That's the basic functionality of a generator, right? Watch how this flywheel acts when I stop spinning. See, it sort of comes back. The magnets go past the iron core a little bit and then they gravitate right back to them. So in this case, you're turning it with your hand to create that electricity. So let me speed it up just a little bit. Okay, watch around the inside of this ring. Electricity gets channeled into the ignition coil, up converts that low voltage into high voltage. And that high voltage is what we're seeing here at the ring. So the spark that we're seeing jump between this needle and this outer ring here, which is about 3 sixteenths of an inch, it's just meant to demonstrate the strength of the spark at the spark plug. So the reason I'm showing you this contraption is because it's also a spark plug tester. Put a spark plug right there. And then let me get a little closer. So now I'm gonna spin it again, but instead of the sparks 
occurring along the inside of this ring, they're actually going to be channeled through the spark plug. So now we know this plug is good. We're gonna put it in the little hit and miss engine and see how the priming cup actually works. This is also Champion X. These are half inch pipe thread, which will fit uh, Ford Model T and will also fit a lot of other antique engines. I didn't see that coming. Priming spark plug doesn't fit. So, plan B. So put the old spark plug back in there for comparison.
I think a perfect application for these priming plugs would be on a motor like this, a one cylinder stationary engine or something like that. Multi-cylinder engines, I just don't see myself running them. I was even thinking about running them in the old Fords and F, you know, maybe even two or three or four of them. But this engine starts up so quickly to begin with. So even on this old tractor, I think it would be more trouble than it's worth. I keep going back to the single cylinder application as being the best.